This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. huge long cloud reverbs and the other thing was the choir reverb now I didn't know when I set about making this video that I was going to come across this little thing and but um, I wanted to share it with you as this is a sound that I've found really enticing in the Strymon Big Sky I think the Kemper has something similar ish but it's a sound that I've not really been able to find in the Helix I did in this video and I want to share it with you because I'm super excited about it um, if you want the presets, jump to the Gumroad link and you can get all of my uh, Helix presets there if you want. Okay, so I wanted to do a video today about a, a really neat trick that you can apply with most modelers with a reverb and most modelers with things like a wah pedal. The idea here is that we're going to have on our separate path, we're going to have a 100% mix reverb with... A wire pedal and you can set your position of the wire pedal to give your you know reverb these kind of um sort of like vowel type effects so so without then with kind of got like a vowel O We could even alter the mix going to change this over to be uh, one of the new cabs because then we'll have even more stuff to play with. Uh, let's just leave it as it is I guess. That seems probably to be fine. Now the other thing that we could do here if we 
choose to. Let's just move some things. So that's kind of with a wah. What about if we had something like... So some of this is sort of inspired by like the Strymon Night Sky. Let's just keep this. So the particle verb is what I'm using for this in general because it's got a really nice kind of long tail. In our filter section, what have we got? got things like the Asheville pattern which I've used before if we put this down onto path B you get like the Strymon night sky type thing and you've got different patterns Control that with a tap tempo. That could be quite a cool little thing. Or other things we could do. Let me just, uh, if I copy this, then I can bring that back if we want to. Uh, other things that we could do. Modulation, stereo, bleat drop trem. Could be really cool for this as well. interesting effects there I think what it would it be filter if we go in legacy you have like a voice box here's the moment right now where I'm about to discover this <laughs> For me, that, that voice box thing, I've never actually tried that before, but 
this was one sound that I found in the Strymon Big Sky that I thought you can't really do that on Helix. And now I think, well, clearly that is doing. actually on I'm going to change the vowel sound so a will be R and snapshot 2 I'll change this to be E and then we can go let's see what happens <laughs> Big Sky was probably this quiet sound and I think I've just tackled it in a helix so that's kind of exciting what I've got going on here a particle verb which was made by the chap Angelo who uh, started Meris this is kind of like a polymoon ish type thing we're using 82% dwell stable condition 100% mix that is in this split here and then I've got that going into a deluxe compressor to just make it an even longer tail into the legacy voice box and you find some really really amazing reverb sounds in that kind of way So I'm quite excited about the prospect of using that going forward because that to me is such a cool, inspiring kind of pad sound. Cheers for now.